You said yesterday, Paolo, that you're, you're no politician. Yeah. But can you just take this opportunity to clarify your political views? But are, are you a fascist? Can you clarify I, I, I don't have to answer any more at that question for one reason, because there was a very, very uh, good, good statement from the club uh, a very very clear uh, words that came out from me and I don't want to talk about any more politics for what reason because in here if I'm not wrong I'm not in the house of parliament I'm not a political person I want to talk about about only football uh, as I said yesterday that those are the last few words that I'm talking about about the situation in 45 years I never had a problem with anyone so that have to be enough forever that Paolo Di Canio is an normal person that respect the rules like many others Million people in Italy and in England, so that uh, have to be enough uh, for speaks for me. So the, the sun, straight the question, you, you've okay. said before that you're a fascist. Are you, are you still a fascist? Can you clear that uh, one? He's answered that one. If we move on to football, the Miners Association have since that statement yesterday have said that they appreciate that. Dan, back. we'll deal with that later. Do you really have a message for the miners, Paolo? Is it, can you can you understand their point? Dan, if I can just stop you there, please. I Paolo has I already said many, answered many the question. I said already in the past. Uh, if you want to pick the, the words, uh, not you. Or the past, the people are pick the words they wanted. I can't keep going talking about uh, my life and my family. Family, the value that my parents are giving to me because uh, they, the people that talking about uh, in this way, they don't offend Paolo Di Canio. I don't accept that they offend my parents. I don't, per, I don't give the chance to anyone to offend my parents and uh, to, to put in difficulty my daughter. So that's once forever. I want to talk about only football. If you want to talk about football, okay, otherwise we, we give uh, time to the others uh, to ask me something about my club, my new club. Is it making your job more difficult, though, that much of the focus since you've arrived here hasn't been on football? No. No, because uh, obviously uh, uh, always there is an issue if uh, the people try to put you in difficulty for a, a ridiculous and pathetic uh, situation uh, which uh, doesn't uh, represent Paolo Di Canio. So I'm not worried. Obviously, if uh, the people keep going, uh, as a gentleman, I, I think I am, uh, People that respect the others have to be straight, and uh, I don't uh, give a chance to anyone or to someone to come uh, in, a, for example, in a press conference if, if they keep going to talking about something that uh, is not football. But it's meant that a lot of the fans, as we now know, aren't behind your appointment. Does that make your position more difficult? In the, it's a difficult time of the season. You've got a lot of hard work to do on the pitch. Do you feel as though the, the fact that the fans aren't fully behind you is going to affect that? The fact that they are fully behind me? Not fully behind uh, Not fully behind me. Uh, I didn't see how many fans are fully behind me. Uh, it, it was the same for different reasons, you know, at Swindon. Uh, there were many, many people that uh, couldn't believe that Di Canio was the right manager for the club. After two months, uh, they were there, wait uh, at the end of the game, 9,000 people standing and uh, clapped their hand for my players and uh, sing my name. Obviously, I don't expect the Sandal of fans sing my name because it's more important if they sing the player's name because they need, they need the extra lift. But one day they will celebrate, they will be happy probably because they will, they will think at the beginning we were wrong and now we have to keep the canyon maybe forever.